Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. Um, it's been long. I have posted any videos. I have come up with a new topic uh, in EPPDS that would be planning with continuous input and output. So what exactly it means? So whenever we are working in the repetitive manufacturing, even in discrete, right? So for a huge number of uh, order, we try to procure the materials in advance also it it's not planned in a day right you may manufacture some of the products in one day and maybe continue with the production for at least two three two or two days or three days or more than that so here uh, if you see i have given an example of 1000 pieces that will being produced in five different days okay so the total quantity of 1000 pieces however will not be produced on the last day it has to be broken down so how do we do that either we spread the production or we can plan it in the eppds okay so i'll tell you in the system how we can do it so this is very important uh, topic i thought i can make so this is one of the examples where you can see your raw materials and your finished product or if you have a semi-finished product will be planned in a similar manner okay where you have quantity for one day it will be sinking at the lower level as well okay so what are the prerequisites so prerequisites you have to have a distribution key if you do not have configured you can configure uh, this in the S4 HANA system or if you are using ECC you have to configure it in the ECC system okay so we have to create a bomb with the distribution key for the components distribution key has to be assigned for the production versions because production versions are mandatory data right in S4 HANA one of the master data which is mandatory now routing should have should not have the setup time as the activity so this is one of the things which has to be uh, considered that if you are using routing which has labor time, machine time and setup time, if you give setup time this particular process does not work. Okay, So make sure you do not enter a setup time. If you want to use a setup time there are different um, S notes, okay, the OSS notes which tells you to implement a BAPI how to consider that setup time but by default it will not consider and this process will not work the PPDS uh, from the PPDS side what you should have PPDS should have the components uh, tab because once you move the data which is your bomb and routing along with the production version it becomes product data structure in the EPPDS side right it should have a component tab and in that we have to see the input and output scheduling is set to continuous with offset if this is not done that means your data is not set up correctly okay once everything is met once we start planning you have to use the heuristic which is for the continuous and input uh, output planning which is sappp c001 okay so this is something that you have to be careful if you want this process to be working fine you have to use this heuristic so let us go in the system and see how and what we have configured so I'll show you the bomb first I have two materials one is uh, finished product and one is raw material for distinguishing uh, between the continuous input and output, I have kept the name as Conti. So we'll go in the change or display mode. Okay, so this is my raw material which I have assigned. If I double click on this, go down, then you have to assign the distribution key over here. Okay. Now second thing is you have to see the routing. Okay. Here I have uh, my work center which is created and it has three shifts. So based upon the shifts also you will get the quantity which will be divided. If you have like eight hours uh, capacity for working in one shift so you'll have that quantity divided into three different shifts. So that also 
is very important from the work center point of view right so this is uh, if if i see the standard value key has setup time machine time and labor time so you don't have to give the minutes or hours your the value over here if it if it is there your process will not work at the lower levels only at the header level it will work now c double to three transaction which is for my production version okay if i go towards my right hand side here the distribution key also has to be maintained okay which is equal distribution this key is for equal distribution all right so uh, you have to move the data towards the ppds side so for that you can use curto adv underscore create i have already maintained the data so i don't need to do this step again but how you can do it once you click you have to give the active version give your material your plant go down and make sure that you for for the first time you're using absolute transfer and execute everything is fine it should give you the green mark and it says that data has been moved towards the ppds side now how to validate the data you can go to curto underscore simu transaction which is for simulation okay here you can see my data is there along with my operations and activities right so this is one of the prerequisites which i maintained uh, in my word document that it should have the continuous with offset okay if this is not there that means your distribution key will not work or it has not been assigned properly another important thing uh, which i did not mention over there if you want to check you can go to this particular transaction for the maintenance of your uh, product data structure and say execute so here you get two options one is for the snp one is for the ppds open for the ppds okay go to the component data and make sure under the consumption you have continuous consumption c okay if again this is not there this will not be there by default if you enter the setup time that means system is clashing and it will not work so once you remove the setup time from your routing operations this should automatically be available over here under the component okay so once our data is mapped properly from the s4 hana side to the ppds and we have checked everything now you can go for the execution for execution you can go to transaction sap apo rrp3 the product view and give your finished product here in the planning version which is active go in the change mode and you can choose a date on which you want this particular product so i'm choosing 31st and i'm giving the forecast as minus 500 quantities press enter all right so after this you have to run the product heuristic okay so the product heuristic will be my uh sap underscore pp underscore c001 which i have already assigned to this particular product if you have not assigned the heuristic to this particular product under the advanced planning tab which i can show you so this is what i have assigned so if you have not assigned or if you have assigned something else do not click on product heuristic directly rather you can go to a variable heuristic and from here you can also choose the sap c001 okay so 
product heuristic will only work if you have assigned it in the material master I have assigned so I can click over here and then I would say adopt now I get a planned order right you can see the available date is according to my forecast another important thing what you need to do is you have to scroll towards your right hand side okay and you have to see this continuation date and continuation time so this particular time says that when it will start manufacturing okay or converting this plan order to production order and when will you get the output so the output will be available on 31st it will start on 29th okay if I go to periods right now you can see this is only one data that means 500 is not divided into my different number of days okay because that's what we want to do over here for this you need to click on settings go to user settings go to product one and click on distributed quantities if you do not click on this it will not work now as soon as I click on the uh, distributed quantities you can see the quantity has been distributed among different uh, days also I told you I have shifts so on Monday I have one shift second shift and third shift so my data is divided equally based upon my distribution key if I click on quantities here you can also see the graph which will give you the information that it starts on 29th and then it goes until 20, 31st for the uh, for your forecast to meet your forecast on 31st okay this is how system will equally divide based upon your distribution key on your finished product now let us see if it is same case for my raw material or not all right so here I have a dependent demand which is coming on 29th because that's where my plan order is created from the previous screen if you remember click on periods here you can see you you have the same amount of quantities for your raw materials as well as your finished product right? so based upon the settings based upon the continuous input and output indicator from the PDS side right uh, according to my prerequisites you can easily see that your raw material is also planned in sequence or in sync with your finished product okay so this will help a lot when you are planning and you are not procuring in advance or you are procuring in bulk in advance to meet your requirements right you you can plan accordingly now if you execute the product heuristic here right it will give you a purchase requisition right now I, I can click on save MD04 so that this data will go towards my S4 HANA side as well here you can see two plan orders are created of 250 quantity each so there is a difference between um, the distributed quantities from the APO or PPDS side versus S4 HANA side in S4 HANA side here you cannot see the complete uh, quantities that has been broken down into equal parts all right but if you go to the raw materials here you can see the requirement is broken down into each number of days and based upon that you get a purchase requisition as well another important thing um, if I run this product heuristic okay I have created one customized product heuristic as well so here you can see ZAP so what what difference I have from here from the standard to the customized one I'll show you right now so first of all I'll run the standard heuristic okay with standard heuristic what I get I get the equal quantity as per my demand if I go to periods you can see there is a 500 quantity which is procured or to be procured on 
Sunday on twenty ninth. Okay. Now suppose the uh, planner says, now I want to divide this quantity as well. Can I do that? Yes, that is possible through the customized heuristic, or you can uh, just check box one small tick mark. Which is orders not considered when interruptions. So with this, what will happen? We'll see. We'll run heuristic once again. Now, what do you see? You see, there are multiple purchase requisitions which are created to meet your requirements on each day with different timings, right? So here for each hour. Or each uh, minutes, you can see there is a new purchase requisition which is triggered from the APO side. And here in the periods also, you can see it has now broken down. Rather than 500 quantities, you can see it has broken down. If you go to the quantities tab, you can see the graph which is similar to my finished product. Okay, yeah. so this is how we can map the uh, process of continuous continuation of input and output process in uh, S4HANA and EPPDS. Okay. Uh, if I go to the um, detailed sch scheduling board, okay, how does it look like? We'll see now. So for this, what I'll do is I'll remove all my uh, purchase orders just leave my demand save it so we'll open a new screen and here we have the transaction cdp so okay so uh, APO, uh, SAP APO, CDP SO for detail scheduling board. Here you can give your resource, give your location. So resource is nothing but my work center, but when it comes towards the PPDS side, it has a different naming convention. Okay. Product number. So we have to give the product which we have used, the finished product and the raw material. Okay, um, I can change the dates, I can narrow it down. then we can execute now from 29th our data should start right so here you can see 29th towards the end of the day it starts the data and you can see this is my raw material okay and this is my finished product let me see if I can move it a little bit. Yeah, here you can see raw material and finished product. So they are in sync, right? So here, if you see the stock, this is, this is my product stock. It goes on increasing, all right, in the same manner. So these the, uh, these are all things that you can map in the S4 HANA uh, embedded PPDS. Right. If you have any questions, uh, do reach me out on my email, which will be posted uh, in the video itself. Do like, do subscribe if you like the content and comment if you want to see some other uh, interesting concepts, interesting uh, topics. Okay, Do mail me. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.